Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. So today I'm in the garden outdoor and I want to share a quick tip with everyone today who's growing a zucchini plant or uh, any kind of squash. Or so basically what happened guys, I had my zucchini plant, uh, most of the the fruit was uh, turning, they were getting like this big and they were turning yellow and the whole flower and everything was dying and I had no idea what was going on. So uh, let me show you guys real quick here. All right, guys, so you could see I have it in a container right now, a pot. Uh, it's a decent size, but uh, what happened? Um, uh, let's see if I could show you guys one. Okay, right here, I had a little tiny one. I had to pick it off this morning. What happened? The flower uh, was, was dead, and the fruit, the vegetable, the zucchini was so small and was turning yellow and rotten. So that was my third one that I lost. So finally guys, I after a lot of research and I tested out, uh, finally see my plant is coming back to life. But I do have a lot of ants, so I gotta sprinkle some cayenne pepper back in here. So as you could see, this guy is doing pretty good. He's doing uh, good. The flower is already pollinated, so that could fall off. It's fine, the fruit is gonna grow. I learned that from experience and so basically everything is growing back and looking real really 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 strong and better so guys the secret of having a healthier plant even if you plant it in a container or in ground everything has been growing amazing since i use this one thing in my gardening guys but the one thing that's been helping the plant right now and the one thing the plant is missing is calcium yep you're hearing me right it's calcium i was trying to figure out too like what you know how can we get cal calcium for the plant should i get some milk or something but then after a long research and i tested out myself and it worked so this right here guys the miracle grow shake and feed oh my god believe it or not guys this thing is a life saver this thing is a gold mine to plant. So the one main ingredient, if you guys look carefully, I'm gonna show you guys, is the calcium in here. Calcium helps stronger cell wall. 100% for me, guys. So basically, as you could see in my garden, right in my plant right here, those blue pellets and the white one, that's the calcium. So what I did, I just sprinkled some on the, on the roots on the side, on the soil on the side, I sprinkled a couple there. And if you turn the plant, I spring, sprinkle a bunch over there. And I was so panicking, I didn't even read the direction, like how, man, how much to put and stuff like that. I just tossed a bunch. Not too much though, because I you didn't want to go crazy. So I tossed a, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. Then I water it. This, after I water it, within another two, three days, this plant is it's been growing amazing guys like it was really bad like the leaves were yellow i had to cut out if you look right here i cut out two leaves too because they were yellow they were dying but since i've been using the the shake and feed because of the calcium and all the nutrition and stuff like that in here it helped a lot guys i'm telling you guys if you're new to the garden world your garden your beginner garden and and you're experiencing the same thing like i am experiencing start freaking out and wondering like your zucchini or squash or whatever is dying i'm telling you guys it's the calcium calcium is one of the main thing that um that plays a big role like this right here guys this one right here i now started back up you see all the leaves they were doing a little bad lack of the calcium but as you could see look i have more of them there i put a couple of days ago and this guy this is this is cucumbers look there are tons of it coming around with the flowers and all that and they're growing pretty much they're growing pretty good right now that shake and feed is no joke guys everything has been growing really well since i've been using the shake and feed, adding more calcium and nutrients to the plants. So definitely that's the one thing I'm using right now in my garden. And it's been going great. Definitely if you're having a problem with your veggie plants, guys, I would say try the shake and feed. I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the description box so you guys can check it out on Amazon. And also more description about this. And I'm telling you guys, this thing works for me. I literally taught my plant it was over, you know, it was it was lost. 
I wouldn't even I wouldn't even to get any vegetables or anything. I was so you know stressed out about it. I thought it was too much water or underwater. I tried all that, but it came to find out that it was all calcium. So the shake and feed has the right calcium and everything you need. Leave in the comment below uh, if you ever tried it before or you're about to try it, and uh, you know let, let's help everybody grow better and healthier vegetable plants in the garden today. And guys, if you find this video helpful, uh, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It's 100% uh, free and there's a lot of more tips coming up for gardeners. So guys, let's grow and start harvesting some real fresh veggies right at home. So guys, don't forget, shake and feed will help your plants grow better.